What will you do if a family member of yours needs long-term care? It's a question many of us put off, and unfortunately, if and when it happens, it can put a terrible emotional and financial burden on the entire family, particularly women who make up two-thirds of the caregivers in our country. This morning, we're talking about what steps we should take to get ready just in case. Phyllis Shelton, author of Long-Term Care, Your Financial Planning Guide, is joining us this morning with much more. Good morning, Phyllis. Hi, Christy. Thanks for being here. I'm happy to be here. Lots of information in your mm -hmm. book, a book that you wrote because of a personal tragedy that happened in your life. Can you share that with us? I sure can. It defined my life. My mother took care of my grandfather in our home for almost 10 years and she did that by working nights as a nurse. And then he still spent the last two years of his life in a nursing home because she just couldn't manage his care anymore. So then she worked double shifts mm -hmm. to pay for the nursing home. And she died at 54 after a two-year battle with breast cancer. And I just think it was all those years of always being on call put a terrible strain on the family, didn't it? So hard, so hard. And there are so many statistics that I read in your book. Mm -hmm. I picked four that I'd like to share with our Good. viewers that were truly alarming. Mm -hmm. And let me read them one by one. The first one, extended care at home or in an assisted living facility may well be the nation's greatest uninsured need as only 3% of Americans over age 18 have long-term care insurance. It's the largest health care expense not covered by health insurance or Medicare. Right. Number three, nationally, the average annual cost for eight to 10 hours of home care is roughly $70,000 or $190 a day. And finally, and this one startled me, 40% of Americans receiving long-term care are under the age of 65. Under 65. Right. Wow. Anybody can be hit by a drunk driver. Think this about is true. it. And when you're in that chronic state, health insurance doesn't cover. And that's when the family has to step up. That's why you write in your book that this is not an age-related problem. All ages need long-term care? Insurance. Yes. I mean, my mother took care of a parent, right? Mm -hmm. But I know two women, and one story is in my book, Okay. a uh, 41-year-old husband, perfect health, massive stroke, and by the time he died, they spent almost everything they had. Another woman, her husband, perfect health, mm -hmm. 45 years old, brain tumor, they had long-term care insurance. That was eight years ago. And, you know, it's hard, but they're going to be okay. That's why you say long-term care insurance is really lifestyle insurance. Can you yes, explain that? Yes, and because it pretty much falls on women, I think millions of women will have their dreams crushed, lose their lifestyle, their career that they've worked so hard to accomplish, because we are just heading into the peak caregiving years. But it doesn't have to happen that way. Families can plan ahead with long-term care insurance. But when you say families can plan ahead, what about if someone says, well, Phyllis, that sounds really great, but right now I'm saving every penny I have because times are tough. Right. How do I plan? Well, right now, there's a wonderful new thing in the country in over 40 states is the Partnership for Long-Term Care. So you can just buy a small policy. Right? And if you buy an inflation benefit, then if you ever have to turn to Medicaid, you might get one or two years of benefits. Then you can protect the assets equal to the benefits paid out, and then Medicaid will take care of you. But you'll have the choices of being private pay as long as possible. And before we wrap up, I want to ask you one final thing. Misconceptions about long-term care. Well, the big one is it's all about nursing home, which less than 15% of the care is in a nursing That's home. That's what I think. This insurance is what keeps people out of nursing homes, Christy, by giving money to pay caregivers at home. But the biggest thing that we're not talking about, I just saw a survey this morning, 96% of adult children have never spoken to their parents about this topic. Now think about it. Your parents, if they're insurable, your parents, Christy, have to have long-term care insurance because it's your lifestyle that you're talking about. And you know what's funny? They're always saying to me, I don't want to be a burden to you and your brother. Right. And yet we don't talk about long-term care insurance. And you know what? Pay the premium. Pay the premium if you have to. You can come up with two or three hundred a month or split it with your brothers and sisters. But if you had to come up with five thousand a month and that cost is projected to triple in the next 20 years, how many could do that? So it's really important. It's to, critical. It's critical. It can really change your life so dramatically, can it? And on a global scale, taxes, if the baby boomers hit Medicaid, but I care about mostly the individual family unit. Right. This insurance, long-term care rips the family apart. This insurance holds families together by giving them resources to take care of each other and love each other forever. And on that note, I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Great information. And for a checklist on how to shop for a policy or to read her book, just go to her website at ltcconsultants.com.